filming my very first mystery tackle box pro slam for the month of October. It's game time. Woo. I want to call this swamp donkeys. Made it to the spot right now. How long is the walk? Um, Six miles. Give it now. Probably about five minutes. Five minutes. That's not bad. So while we're out here trying to catch some November fish, also gonna fill out the MTB Pro Slam. This is my first Pro Slam. This time I'm on foot. I'm not fishing alone, and fishing a completely different layout, it's a completely different body of water. Still in Ohio, just a completely different part. So it should be pretty interesting. God, you don't understand how I, I was not even like remotely expecting that. I just I heard it and I'm like I'm just waiting. It came, dude, it came all the way out of there. I mean, it came all the way out of there. Just missed a giant on this one, a little guy. I'm gonna tie on a, a missile base discharge to see if I can come back and get him again. I don't know how to get this thing. Came off. Oh my god, that was a giant. Getting over the getting over the, these fish over that brush is impossible. That thing was a toad. I can't believe that. So what? Yeah. Good one. Good one. Ooh, like a five-year-old fighting this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, look at that. First fish finally on the destroyer. First fish for the MTB slam of the year for the month of October. Dude, look at that. Dude, you just it. no, just ran with it. They don't even yeah. hit it, they just kind of pick it up. I'm gonna get the official hooked up slam of the year measurement on it. I don't know how accurate this is gonna be. This is just an absolute mess. Billy's swimming right now. Props to Billy for filming. That fish is, we're gonna say that fish is touching the 20 inch mark. Nice fish. Boom. Oh man. Okay, so last fish came on the destroyer. I wasn't throwing the FinTech jig head, so I still have to fill that out. Next lure is gonna be the frog. I'm trying to knock this frog out here. We may even hit up some other spots like the Hocking River, but uh, we're just trying to find some fish right now. It's just tough because the sun's out and it's got these fish pushed so far back like you can't even reach them. Like you know they're there. We're, we're hearing them bust on bluegill. I mean, they're eating big bluegill out there. You're not on a boat, you're fishing from shore and you can barely only get a cast off with all these vines and trees around you. So a little bit of a challenge today, but still a lot of fun. There really isn't anywhere to cast in the most part. That's the main challenge. Finding the fish is easy. Like, figuring out where they are is, like, not even an issue. It's just getting to them, and then, like, once you do hook them, pulling them out. That one I had on camera, which you probably saw me just completely miss, is just got me wrapped up right in this stuff, and it's so thick. The, the tip isn't that, like, strong, but right at the base, it's actually really flexible, and it's, like, pretty much impossible to cut through it or pull a fish up and over there, so... Billy's gonna do some bushwhacking right now. Hopefully he smacks a nice fish. Billy and I are heading out right now. The uh, sun has just got him pushed way too back in that brush. And this is the brush that kind of has him. You said that's button bush, right? Yeah. It's just got him pushed way back there and you can hear him just like devouring what we think is probably bluegill. So it's a little hard to get back there when you're <laughs> trying to cast with a 7-3 rod and hitting branches. I'm lucky I didn't lose any baits yet. You caught two, right? Yeah. Caught two on one on a frog, one on a jig, or both on the frog? Both on the frog. Both on the frog, so. everybody had on jig. It's tough, dude. It's real, real tough right now.
right, on to spot number two. What in the world? Are these burrs on me, man. Whoa, whoa! Easy, cuz. Okay, so I do have another problem here, other than the fact that the fish are being complete buttholes, but other than that, um, the main problem is I'm on my last battery. For some reason, I'm going through these batteries like like cheap double A's. I don't know what's going on. I have one battery left, and I have about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, roughly, I think, four or five lures left to complete the slam. You may be able to tell where this is going. I don't know. This isn't looking too hot, but... Um, I've committed myself to just to throw this frog until I finally get bit, then I plan on switching, so I'm not going to go back and forth and just going all over the place. But I wouldn't have to throw this up. I would have connected to both those fish I missed at the uh, swamp. This is really frustrating. Though. Okay, so I've made the decision to at least fish two more spots before I give up, so to speak, even though I am like this close to going to bed and about this close to completing the slam. I just want one more fish. Alright, made it to the third location now. You may recognize this as the spot that I filmed my $1 lure video. I'm going here not to fish the same area that I did where I caught that one fish, but because there's a pool a little farther down, that last time was too, uh, too leavy, if that makes any sense. It was too leavy to fish. There were too many leaves in the water. I really couldn't get a bait in there, to be honest. It was that thick. They're pretty much cleared out now, so I'm hoping that pool will hold some smallies, maybe some spots that will top off this slam. I don't think I'm gonna complete it, but at the very least, I can still catch some fish to, uh, to get this video ended on a good note. Well, I couldn't make it happen here. This is like the best spot I know of that I can get to from foot without getting in the water. And they don't want to eat the spinnerbait, which is kind of strange, especially this time of year. I really hate ending a slam on that note, but uh, there's not much I can do. And that kind of transitions back to my last videos where I was kind of talking about the stuff you can and cannot control. Today, there was a few things that I could not control. Granted, there was a few things that I could, but uh, I really dwelled too much on the things I couldn't control. Nonetheless, caught a very nice fish today, so I can't dwell on the fact that you know I didn't complete the slam because I did get an amazing fish to catalyst the uh, November bass fishing season. At least you guys got to learn a few things about you know fishing these kind of conditions. If the sun comes out, generally they'll get pushed up into cover, even if the water's cold. And we found that those fish, the fish I had, was very cold. But cold water fish, shallow water fish are, are used to being cold, so they'll look for any ways to kind of escape and uh, find cover. Regardless, had fun today. Huge shout out to Billy for taking me to that spot. That was not my spot. I take no credit for finding that. Um, that was Billy's doing, so huge shout out to Billy. So thanks for watching, you guys. Feel free to vote for this video for my Slam of the Year hooked up tournament. I'll leave the links in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fishing the Midwest.